So what we need to do now is inject the repository into the controller rather than instantiating it directly. The way we do that is first of all we create a construct for the controller and as part of that constructor we want to take the implementation details of the context. So the first thing we need to do is take this out into the main project. Let's remove that. Oh, let me just, um, then we need to create a constructor. So, and as part of that constructor, we want to take in an interface or a, com a, a, a concrete implementation of an interface. And then within our controller, within our uh, constructor, we set the customers to reference the concrete implementation that we are passing in. So what's happening here is, when we instantiate the controller, it's going to want to send in a repository called customers that is based on that interface. And then we are setting our local instance of it to the interface we're passing in. Now, if we start this website going, you'll notice straight away that we'll get an error. No parameterless constructor defined for this object. Now the reason for that is because the controller doesn't work if you create a constructor a constructor with a parameter in it. It wants a constructorless parameter. But because we need to be able to have a way to inject that in, that's obviously not going to work. So what we need to do is find a way around this. And we use that by using what's called a dependency injector uh, project, which there are many different types out there but the one I like to use is Microsoft Unity. So if we go to our red project and say manage NuGet packages, and we want to have a look for Unity. As we can see here, we've got Unity, it's by Microsoft, and it is the MVC version that we require. So if we click install, accept the license agreement, and close. And you'll notice now that it's done a couple of things. The first is we now have uh, the Microsoft Practices Unite references. And it is also created, if we look in the app start folder, this Unity config file. Now the Unity config file is where we register the types and it gives us here an example. So in our case, we want to be able to register this interface and pass to it the concrete implementation. So if we just copy that through and we want container dot register type so we're saying whenever you come across a reference for an implementation of our repository we want to implement our concrete method So we're taking the interface from our contract project and we're saying that we'll implement the actual customer repository from our DAO project. And what this does is when the home controller now starts up, it knows it will that to implement our repository based customer, it needs to use customer repository. And so now if we new, now start the project. And as you can see, it starts up again. 
So now we're all ready to go. We are using dependency injection. Our website is built. Our data access layer is in place. Our model is in place. We can actually now start hooking up the data to the front end.